What's up everybody? This is Flash 001 USA and today is Friday. It's September 29th, the year 2017. And today's the big day. This is the day that I want to get out here and go ahead and get this concrete slab under the roof here of the new building extended out. I do have room for the gasifier, but I want to go ahead and extend this all the way out where I know it should be, which will be right about here. You can see where I've already been shoveling in here a little bit. And this gives me not only room for the gas fire, but it gives me plenty of uh, breathing space, real estate, or whatever you, you know you want to call it. Just room under here to be able to get things done. And as I was doing the job, you know, sometimes when you get in the middle of a job like this, you have good surprises, and then you have not so good surprises. Oh no, I couldn't hit a can full of golden coins. Oh, that's just what my luck today. Instead, and no, this is not the sandworm off the movie Dune, but... <laughs> I hit this guy right here, and he's the drainage pipe for the house, actually. is what catches the water from the roof and carries it all the way out to the lower part of the yard, and it runs off. So as I was digging, I realized, hmm, somebody put this extremely shallow. Shallow enough to the point, and it was like an inch under the dirt over here. I just never realized it. I never, you know, I never had a reason to dig over here until today. But it was too shallow to pour my concrete slabs, so unfortunately for me, I got to break out the manual back hose, and I'm now trenching this out by hand to get this deeper so I can go ahead and get this pipe further down into the ground and this will allow me to go ahead and prep everything up and lay the gravel down and pour concrete over it. But that was it. I just wanted to share this with everybody. So I've got all the tools at hand to get the job done. I've got me, um, let's see, 640 pounds of concrete. I don't think I'll use all of it, but what I don't use, I'll take back. Um, went up the road, got me some gravel here, so, you know, I'm like a good boy scout. I'm getting prepared and getting everything ready to be done. It's not going to be that bad of a job. The worst part of it really was dealing with this, okay? I just didn't expect to find this sitting so shallow. Alrighty then, we got the form in place, we got the gravel leveled off the way it needs to be. The next part of the job, boys and girls, I will take this trench tool of choice right here. I will take this gray dusty stuff out of these bags here. And I will bust them open one at a time into that tray, I will mix them into a liquidy substance sort of a soupy substance since I'm going to be pouring it into these beds here and I want it to penetrate all this gravel here. So we'll go ahead and pour this, we'll get this job done and as soon as it hardens up I will be able to put the gas fire over here. Flash 001, breaking a sweat and listen to some Black Sabbath. We'll be back.
All right, guys, it is finished. All I got to do now is wait for this to harden enough, and then I'll go ahead and pull the form off of it and go back around it with some field dirt and fill it back up, make it look like it never happened with the exception that I extended this out. Man, what a job. And the sun's actually setting on me, so I finished it pretty much in the nick of time. Now I'll probably come out here in the morning and there'll be like a million animal tracks in it from cats, dogs, squirrels, deer, raccoons, and other assorted creatures of the night. And at which point I will be slightly highly annoyed. But at least I got it done. The next thing will be to get out here and clean up the yard. I got a lot of stuff that was kind of squirreled away under here, which is another good reason to have done this. I needed to get rid of this cubby hole here or collection trap. And I'm sure some of you all can relate to that. But the good thing is I didn't wind up using as much concrete as what I thought I was gonna need. So I'm gonna load this up on the truck, take it back tonight and get my money back for it. I would keep it, but if any of you all have ever messed around with concrete or any kind of mixtures like this, you know what happens if you try to store it. It will eventually turn into a solid block on you, so I may as well go ahead and get my money back on it. All right, I'll bring you guys back in the next time around here when I get this thing all tidied up and get the gas fire under here. So Flash 001 USA, we are pausing out. All right, it's official. The gas fire has a new home, along with the yard being cleaned up. I'll let everybody get a look at this. I'm just glad to have this thing with the roof over it now. This way I don't have to keep covering it up with a tarp. Oh, remember last night I had mentioned that animals would probably get into the concrete? Well, they did. It wasn't that bad though. It was either birds or raccoons and they probably got in there either late last night or early this morning, but I had a chuckle off that when I got up and seen that. Yeah, man, nothing like playing with shovels, concrete, and dirt, and everything else, but the job came out nice, and that was the main thing. So that was a new setup I did to drain the water, the drainage pipe. And it fits up under here. It could have been a little bit more room, but hey, I'm still happy with it. I got plenty of room to open the door with, with inches to spare. And it's not as tight as it looks because I can actually walk around this thing. I got plenty of room. To get around it and that's the most important thing there is that I can get all the way around it and service it as I need to. So I'm extremely happy that I finally got this done. All right the next time that I release a video it's going to be because I've got this thing fully automated so be looking for one for me in the near future here guys. Flash 001 USA hope you guys have a good one and as always, if you got any questions, feel free to send me something and I'll reply back to you. Bye-bye.